Welcome to Melbourne, where the practice session is about to start for this weekend's Australian Grand Prix. The pre-race talking is over. Now it's time for the drivers to show their worth. The teams will be visiting tracks across five continents as they battle it out for both the drivers and the constructors' championships. What race on the calendar do you think the teams will have a special eye on this year? Well, I think the teams will be looking forward to the Mexican Grand Prix, which is being held back at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez in Mexico City. It was last run way back in 1992. This year sees Honda return to the sport, reforming one of the greatest partnerships in F1 history with McLaren. Do you think they can rekindle the success they had during the 80s and the 90s? It won't be easy, but yes, I think so. It's been a tough few years for McLaren with the loss of Hamilton, Mercedes withdrawing as a shareholder and major investor in the team, and losing technical director Paddy Lowe. This could mark the start of their return to prominence. today's practice session and it's no surprise considering the hard work the team have been putting in so far this weekend. Welcome to Melbourne where qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix should be getting underway shortly. Rosberg's day after a frantic final few minutes in qualifying. It was he who came out on top. Well, he's got to be pleased with that. He's worked hard for it and deserves a result. He'll now turn his sights to tomorrow for what should be a very exciting race. The crowd are here and they're here in numbers for the first race of the season. Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. What a great start to the season for Nico Rosberg. He's on pole for today's race. He'll be delighted with how qualifying went yesterday, but knows there's a lot of hard work to come before he can secure that race win. Well, Nico will be focused on the task at hand. He's on pole. He's proven his speed. And if he can just stay out in front, he should be able to create a gap. So I think he's got a good chance of victory today, as long as he has no car issues along the way. It was a disappointing day for Fernando Alonso yesterday. He's starting further down the grid than he would have liked, but he'll still be hoping for a strong result today. Well, Fernando is a great starter, and he'll be looking to make up a few places on that first lap to try and get himself back into a position that he's more familiar with.
Police officials have enabled DRS. DRS is now available.
we're down to around 25% fuel remaining. Tires are overheating. Easy into the next few corners. We need to cool them. You're showing a big drop in pressure in the rear right. We've got a puncture in the rear right tire. That's the end of the first race here in Melbourne, and it's Lewis Hamilton who's got the upper hand and 25 points to his name. Well, Lewis is always someone the other drivers respect. He's one of the best drivers on the grid, and if he has a competitive car, he'll always be near the front, and he's proven that yet again today. After all that excitement, it's time for a lie down, I think. Thanks for joining us, and goodbye until the next race.